everyone! Today, I'm sharing some quick tips on how to sort files and folders in File Explorer. I'll show you three ways to do it, using default parameters, additional parameters, and also I'll show you how to create your own ordering so you can sort however you like. So first, I'll show you how to order using the default parameters. To get started, open up File Explorer to the folder you want to sort. Personally, I like to view my folders in detail view. If you're on another view, all you need to do is right click, view, and select details. In this view, you have the files or folders in the rows and the parameters in the columns. To sort by file name, I click anywhere on the header and it will toggle between ascending and descending alphabetical order. Similarly, I can click on the date modified and it will toggle between the most recent and the oldest items at the top. If there's a specific file that you're looking for and you know the approximate date, you can make use of the built-in filters. For example, if I'm looking for a file from May 2017, I can click on the down arrow beside date modified, go through the calendar, and now we can see the subset of files last modified in May 2017. To go back to the full list, just click on the back arrow or deselect the filter. Now that we've reviewed the default parameters, we'll take a quick look at what else we can sort on. Let's right click again, sort by, and select more. And here's the whole list of things that you can sort on. To be honest, there's not a whole lot in this list I would use, but if you have a music folder, you can sort by album, album artist, even beats per minute, or if you have a contacts folder, maybe something like birthday or business address could be relevant. To add a parameter, all you need to do is check the checkbox and click OK. Now you see the column added to your detail view. I don't need this column, so I will remove it from my view. Last but not least, what if none of these parameters help to sort the list the way you want to? Within the rainbow folder, I have several folders named the colors of the rainbow. I want them to be ordered red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. But sorting by name doesn't help. The easiest solution, and what most people probably do, is add numbers or letters at the beginning of the file name. This looks like editing the file name and putting a number in front of it. So I have labeled one red, two orange, three yellow, four green, five blue, and six violet. Now I get the results I wanted when I sort by name. I can get the same effect by adding letters instead of numbers. Although this is a very simple solution, there is a drawback. If now I want to add indigo into this list, I'll need to update the violet folder. So for example, if I add a new folder, it will become six indigo because it follows after five blue, and then I'll need to update the six to a seven for violet and sort again. If there are any links to the violet folder previously pointing to six violet, those links won't work anymore. Now, instead of changing the actual name of the folder, the more elegant solution is to change the underlying folder properties. To change the folder properties, we're going to create some desktop configurations files. Normally, these kinds of system files are hidden, so first, we'll make sure we can see them. In the search bar, search for File Explorer Options, go to the View tab, and then select Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Click on Apply, and then OK. The next step is to open a new text file. So open up your notepad and copy and paste the following text from the video description below. The important part of this file is info tip, which shows any text string as a comment. We're going to use these values for sorting. So first, I'll start with renumbering this to number one. Resave the file. Uh, in your first folder, which for me is the red folder, and rename it to desktop.ini. 
save this file, close the notepad, and when you go to the red folder, you'll see that there is a new desktop configuration file. We'll repeat these steps for the other folders, but you don't need to create a new file every time. Instead, you can just copy the desktop file, go to your second folder, paste it in, open it up to edit it, change the info tip to two, so that it is second in the order, save it, and close it. And repeat this step for all of the folders in the order that you'd like them to appear. Okay, so to summarize, now we've got a desktop configuration file in every folder whose info tip value is that folder's numerical order. To be able to use the info tip, we need to do two things. First, we're going to display the comments column in File Explorer. And just as you recall, for any other parameter, to do that, we right click, sort by, click on more, go to the comments, check the box, and click OK and now you have the comments column in File Explorer. The second thing we'll need to do is set each folder as a system folder using the command prompt. And for that, we'll search for the command prompt, bring it here, and for every folder in our list, we're going to type attrib plus s to make it a system folder, and then the file address. The quickest way to get the file address is to go back to File Explorer right click, copy address as text, and paste it in. The first folder that I'll assign is the red folder. So I'll type it here and click enter. And as you can see, the file explorer has already updated to show one in the comments column for the folder red. And now we'll repeat this for all of the other folders. So orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Now, when we're back in the ex file explorer view, you will see that all of the, the info tips are showing up in the comments and we can sort so that now our folders are in our desired order. Isn't that cool? So to go back to the earlier uh, scenario where we want to add an indigo folder, how we'll do that is right click, Add a new folder, indigo. We'll go into violet, change the tool tip, uh, info tip to seven, save that, and then make another copy of the desktop file and have that saved as six. And finally, we'll go back to the command prompt, update it, To include the indigo folder and we'll just wait for that to update. And there you have it. You've added indigo into the list and you did not have to change any file names. All you had to do was modify the underlying folder properties. Thanks so much for watching. Bye bye!